Good morning, everybody. This is April the 12th, 2023. My name is Larry, and this is my channel on living with stage 4 metastatic prostate cancer. Today, I want to tell you about <clears throat> what it's like to get uh, radiation therapy for prostate cancer. Um, I'm going to preface the, by saying that ever since I had my prostatectomy in 2016, I have been incontinent. And the reason I mention that is because uh, when I took the 38 radiation sessions to clean up my prostate bed, they wanted me to have an extended, a full bladder. So, <laughs> there was a little fight going on, you know. I, they put me in a machine the first few times with a full bladder, and it was very difficult for me. It only took maybe 15 minutes, but it was very difficult for me to hold my bladder full that long without peeing everywhere, which could be embarrassing. Now I never did, I had a couple little leaks, but I do wear a pad, so uh, here's what the pad looks like actually. It's these nasty little buggers. I run through about four to eight of these a day. And you take the this strip off, which I won't do, and then you put it inside your underwear, and it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> so, the thumbnail that I put on the front of this video is the is the machine and the snowflake decoration that they put around it was what the text put on there. And uh, one of the things I was responsible for as a patient was they used to put a cartoon on the inside of the tunnel. So I had to check and make sure they changed that cartoon every day. The cartoon's about three inches from my nose as they put me in. Then they put the music on, and then it, and it was a race then to uh, for me to be able to hold my water for that 15 minutes. So what I used to do, I used to drink my bottle of water on the way to the appointment. And then when I'd get to the waiting room, I'd be full, and I'd try to go to, to urinate, and then sit in the waiting room and fill up again just before they put me in. And I had it down pretty down to a time science if they were on time, and they were most of the time. So uh, the radiation sessions itself were, were hardly anything. They put you in there, they play some music, there's a little noise, and then uh, about 15 minutes they pull you out. Actually, they took a, a, a scan first to make sure you were positioned correctly after they lined you up with the lasers. And then uh, that was it though. They were, they were very good. Um, when I got done, I got a patient certificate of merit appreciation, which is right here. So January 2021, I got this. This little card right here is the card that I they gave me. I signed in myself every day. I scanned myself in into the waiting room so that the people at the front desk didn't have to do it. And overall, it was, uh, you know, 38 sessions there. That was done after my PSA was <clears throat> went up a little bit, and then that was before we knew I had uh, cancer in my lung, that my, my prostate cancer had metastasized to my lung. It cleaned up, so I went four years after the prostatectomy with my PSA being under 0.02, then when it got to be 0.02, they put me in for 38 sessions to clean up my prostate bed, which did not work. The PSA kept going up, then we had the the CAT scan and the <clears throat> MRI and that found the the tumor in my lung and then they did a biopsy but then we had five sessions of high radiation so I had 38 sessions of low radiation to clean up the prostate bed and then later on a year later five sessions of uh, <clears throat> high intensity to clean up the lung but uh, the radiation isn't you know isn't too bad so the only side effect I really had was uh, for about a year, whenever I'd eat, I would, within 15 minutes, I'd have to go sit on the toilet. Uh, so I had an irritated bowel. And after about a year, that went away, thank God. So, so if you have uh, stage 4 metastatic prostate cancer, or if you have someone you love who has stage 4 metastatic 
prostate cancer, I uh, strongly encourage you to stay in the game. Don't give up. Enjoy your family and friends. Enjoy every second of your life. Enjoy every cup of tea. But I'm having a little uh, Tetley. It looks like a Brit flag, a UK flag there, an English flag, I guess. It says British blends. It's not that good. So if anybody in the UK wants to comment and tell me what tea I should drink, I have a little Yorkshire tea, which I find to be pretty interesting. I like it. But this uh, Tetley tea in, in the States here, I usually drink Lipton, which is like drinking water. But uh, if anybody has any suggestions, let me know. And uh, peace. We'll see you later.